Tuesday is the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Following the morning Mass on Tuesday, there will be the enrollment in the Brown Scapular. And so if you wish to be enrolled, please be prepared, bringing a brown, a brown scapular that is large enough to be placed over your head. And I will be prepared with a scapular for the enrollment of those who perhaps do not have your own. And so with these thoughts in mind, again, for the Feast of Our Lady Mount Carmel, we recall Our Lady appearing to St. Simon Stock, giving him the brown scapular for the Carmelite order. What is a scapular? The word scapular comes from the Latin word scapula, which means shoulder. A scapular is worn over the shoulders. Many religious orders wear a scapular. The laity may also be enrolled in these. A Benedictine manual explains the advantages of wearing a scapular. The small scapulars worn by the faithful are symbols of those worn by religious of the various orders and are sacramentals of the church. In the scapulars and the confraternities, of which they are the badge, Catholics possess a rich fountain of grace, which the Church most liberally opens to them. A brown scapular must be of woven wool. Modern brown scapulars are invalid since they are made of felt instead of woven wool. And so you cannot trust purchasing a brown scapular at a Vatican II religious bookstore. You can tell if a scapular is woven wool since you can pull a strand from it. If you burn a woven wool scapular, it will smell like burned hair and will turn into ash. A scapular made of felt will fizzle like burned plastic. The scapular strings must be sewn to the scapular wool tabs. The the strings cannot be attached to a plastic case inside of which is the scapular. A scapular with a chain instead of string is invalid. Scapulars and scapular supplies, which are purchased even from the Carmelite Center in Illinois, are not valid since they are felt instead of woven wool. And so we have needed to search out where we can still purchase woven wool in order to make valid brown scapulars. You need to be enrolled in the brown scapular in the traditional church since the Vatican II priests are not valid and they would not be using valid woven wool scapulars. If you don't remember if and when you were enrolled, you should get enrolled again. By wearing the scapular is meant that it should be so attached that one part hangs on the breast and the other on the back, one string passing over each shoulder. Wearing or Carrying it in any other manner is not wearing it in the sense the church prescribes and would not entitle the person to any of the graces or indulgences attached to it. We read from the book 
the little booklet on sacramentals. Children may be enrolled in the scapular. They do not need to be enrolled again when they come to the age of reason. In being enrolled in the brown scapular, you are joined to the Carmelite order. You benefit from the same promises that Our Lady made when she gave the scapular to St. Simon Stock. You share in the prayers and merits of all traditional Carmelite religious. And there are yet traditional Carmelites. It is the same in joining any third order or confraternity. The Congregation of Mary Immaculate Queen has the confraternity of Mary Immaculate Queen. Those who join any particular third order or confraternity participate in the fruit of all the good works of the religious belonging to that order. That is, the fruit of their prayers, meditations, holy masses, communions, fasts, penances, alms, and all else that goes to form the spiritual treasure of the order. Let us reflect on Our Lady appearing to St. Simon Stock as she gave him the brown scapular. He was a devoted servant of Our Lady and joined the order of Our Lady of Mount Carmel soon after the order was introduced into England. He was the superior general of the order at the time that Our Lady appeared to him at Cambridge, England on July 16th, 1251. With scapular in hand, she said, Receive, my beloved son, this scapular of thy order. It is the special sign of my favor, which I have obtained for thee and for thy children of Mount Carmel. He who dies clothed with this habit shall be preserved from eternal fire. It is the badge of salvation, a shield in time of danger, and a pledge of special grace and protection. Our Lady gave singular promises for those who wear the brown scapular, for they are her favorite and privileged children. They enjoy her special protection, both for body and soul. Those who devoutly wear, those who devoutly die, wearing her scapular will not be lost to eternal fire. When death approaches, those who wear Mary's livery may hope for her powerful intercession to persevere to the end or sinners if they will make use of the graces offered, may obtain the grace of conversion. An astounding scapular miracle occurred in the 1900s in the city of Ashtabula, Ohio, about two and a quarter hours from my boyhood home. A man was run over by a train and was cut in two, being severed below the waist. Instead of dying immediately, he remained alive and conscious for 45 minutes. A priest was summoned, and the man died only after having the consolation of receiving extra unction. Such stories assure us that Our Lady takes personal care to watch over us, especially at the hour of death. Another story 
is of a French priest whose life was saved by his wearing the scapular. He was on his way to offer mass, but remembered that he had forgotten his scapular. He would be late in starting mass if he went back to get it, but he could not imagine offering mass without Our Lady's garment. And so he went back to get his scapular. During mass, a young man approached the altar, pulled out a revolver, and shot the priest in the back. Those attending mass were amazed to see that the priest went right on offering the holy sacrifice. Everyone presumed the gunman had missed. As the priest unvested after Mass, it was discovered that the bullet had gone through the vestments and into the scapular. But the scapular stopped the bullet. The bullet was adhering to the scapular. Let us faithfully wear the scapular both day and night for it is our badge of love for our Blessed Mother. We thereby perpetually petition our Blessed Mother's continual assistance. St. Alphonsus Maria Liguri tells, modern heretics make a mockery of wearing the scapular. They decry it as so much nonsense. It is the sign of our consecration to her immaculate heart. Do not set aside wearing the scapular out of embarrassment or to wear a style of dress. If others see you wearing the scapular, you give a good example of showing your love for Our Lady. Someone who, unfortunately, stops wearing the scapular for a time, should resume wearing it. For if a person leaves off wearing his scapular for a longer or shorter time, either through indifference, forgetfulness, or even contempt, and afterwards resolves to resume wearing it, he need only put the scapular on again and wear it, trusting in God's mercy that he will again be made partaker of the spiritual favor attached. The brown scapular has the special Sabbatine privilege. Our Lady made this promise in appearing to Pope John the Twenty Second in 1322. Those who devoutly wear her scapular and fulfill certain conditions will be promptly delivered from purgatory on the Saturday after their death. The conditions are for those who have faithfully worn the scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel during life. Second, observed chastity according to their state. Third, and recited the office of the Blessed Virgin. Those who cannot read are not able to pray the office of the Blessed Virgin. They may obtain the Sabbatine privilege by observing the fasts of the church and to abstain from meat on all Wednesdays and Saturdays. The recitation of the office or the abstinence may be commuted by any priest to some other good work, such as the daily recitation of the rosary or some other prayers. A priest may give you permission to pray the daily rosary 
instead of the office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. You may receive this permission from a priest by asking him either in confession or out of confession. How easy it is to fulfill the conditions that Our Lady will deliver us from purgatory on the Saturday after death. Wear the scapular always. We all must observe purity, and we ought to pray the rosary daily, as Our Lady asked at Fatima. And so we easily fulfill the three requirements for the Sabbatine privilege. The office of the Blessed Virgin, which is required as the as for the Sabbatine privilege, is not the same office that is prayed by members of the confraternity of Mary Immaculate Queen. And so again, it is very practical to ask a priest for permission to pray the daily rosary instead of the office of the Blessed Virgin as the requirement for fulfilling the Sabbatine privilege. Blessed Claude de Colombier was the confessor to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque, who received the apparitions of our Lord as he appeared, revealing the devotion to his sacred heart. Blessed Claude de Colombier tells of the brown scapular, because all the forms of our love for the Blessed Virgin and its various modes of expression cannot be equally pleasing to her, and therefore do not assist us in the same degree to reach heaven. I say without a moment's hesitation that the brown scapular is the most favored of all. No devotion has been confer confirmed by more numerous authentic miracles than the brown scapular. The brown scapular of Our Lady, worn over our shoulders, is like the sweet yoke of her divine Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I recall once driving six hours for an urgent call to visit an elderly lady in the hospital. I encouraged her that she was wearing the brown scapular that the hospital staff had not needed to remove it. I see you are wearing the brown scapular, being only partially alert Due to medications, she replied, Yes, I'm traditional. Yes, it goes without saying. As traditional Catholics, we ought to fervently and always wear Our Lady's scapular. In November 1955, a plane with 27 passengers crashed in Guatemala. All were killed except one young lady. As the plane was going down, she confidently took hold of her scapular and called upon Our Lady's assistance. She was burned, her clothing was reduced to ashes, but her scapular was untouched by the flames. A similar story, also in 1955, is of a third-grade boy who was putting air in his bicycle tires at the gas station. An explosion occurred. The boy's clothing was entirely burned, except for the scapular. The incident especially motivated him to have devotion to Our Lady. There is a prophecy concerning the brown scapular. St. Dominic, St. Francis of Assisi, and the Carmelite, Brother Angelus, who was visiting 
from Mount Carmel in Palestine happened to meet and recognize one another on a street in Rome. It was 1208, before Our Lady had given the rosary to St. Dominic or the brown scapular to St. Simon Stock. St. Dominic, inspired by God, prophesied that Our Lady would one day give the brown scapular to the Carmelite order. Moreover, he prophesied of Our Lady one day through the rosary and the scapular, she will save the world. I believe this prophecy is already at least partially fulfilled. For the true mass has been abolished. The remnant faithful are resolved to pray the daily rosary and to wear the scapular. When we hear of someone who has stopped attending the Novus Ordo and has found their way back to the true mass and practice of the faith, the story is always the same. In their search for the true faith, they began praying the daily rosary and were faithful in wearing the scapular. Let us always wear Our Lady's scapular. She will see us safely through the storms of life and to the eternal port of heaven. She is our caring mother, and she exhorts us to be her loving children. She exhorts, wear the scapular devoutly and perseveringly. It is my garment. To be clothed in it means that you are continually thinking of me, and I, in turn, am always thinking of you and helping you to secure eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen.